U.S. officials are very concerned about the threats against the United States. What we are hearing is that the threats over the past few days are huge. These threats are now starting to make their way into the United States because of one group. I'm going to address what that group is and what experts are now telling us, what the FBI director is saying, and even the statement from the White House just today on these new threats. So I'm going to break that down in just a moment. All I ask is one thing. It takes two seconds. Go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So who is now threatening the United States? Well, it's actually ISIS. According to reports, U.S. officials are warning of an ISIS-K threat. And it all has to do with the attack just recently on Moscow, where we saw more than 137 people lose their life because of an ISIS-K attack. But I want to show you what is happening. I want to explain what is going on here in the United States and abroad that has many experts highly concerned. Just look at this. There's growing concern over terrorists making their way into the United States. Terrorists are making their way into the United States because of our open borders. This is something that we've known for some time. However, it's not much we can do about it because our borders are not secure. I want to play you this clip from Senator Tom Cotton as well, because he is really questioning how safe is the United States at this time. Just listen to this. I'm deeply worried that ISIS from Afghanistan will end up targeting Americans sooner rather than later. So we are going to be attacked. We are going to be targeted sooner rather than later. And according to somebody that we're going to hear from in just a moment, it's actually going to happen very soon. And I want to play you that clip because, again, this is what is troubling. How are we going to survive? How are we going to move forward when we have this thing hanging over our head that we are potentially going to be the, on the back end of the attack? Just listen to this. The risk of attack emanating from Afghanistan is increasing. I assess ISIS Khorasan retains the capability and will to attack U.S. and Western interests abroad in as little as six months and with little to no warning. So in little as six months, this was on March 7th that he said this. So, and this is the CENTCOM commander. Um, he is saying that within six months, with little to no warning, that's March 7th, okay? So we got April, May, June, July, August, by September. By September 2024, according to the CENTCOM, CENTCOM commander, he is saying that ISIS will attack the United States or Western nations with little to no warning. That's concerning. Now, I also want to play you a clip from the FBI director as well. This is from Chris Ferrey. This is done, uh, I think, just a little while ago. I think like a few weeks back, two weeks ago maybe. This is when this clip was uh, released. Just listen to this. Are we aware of any of these smuggling organizations are run by or... Um are conducted by people that have ties, for example, to ISIS or other terrorist organizations? So I want to be a little bit careful how far I can go in open session, but there, uh, you know, there is a particular network um, that uh, has, uh, where some of the overseas facilitators of the smuggling network have ISIS ties uh, that we're very concerned about uh, and that we've been spending an enormous amount of effort with our partners investigating um, uh, exactly what that network is up to uh, is something that's, again, the subject of our current investigation. They're so they do not know, they're investigating what those, what those networks are currently up to. They have an idea of kind of where they're at in the United States. They're concerned with that because some are close to major cities. And this brings up my next point is some city mayors of large cities like Philadelphia, Chicago, New York, Miami, Seattle, Los Angeles, San Francisco, right? These, these uh, you know, mayors are highly concerned about the attack that just went on in Moscow, Russia. Now, the concern here, and this is something I, I'm not going to play the clip because he's, he's kind of throwing Biden under the bus. Again, it was Biden that was in charge during this time where 
we withdrew from Afghanistan. But the concern when that happened, and there's many senators that bring this up, a couple Democratic senators as well, is that they don't think we pulled out at the, the most opportune time. They don't think that we withdrew and we were successful prior to that. They, what they're saying is that the concern was ISIS is now reforming. They're, they rebuilt over the past couple of years and now they're ready to attack. They're ready to make their mark, not just on you know Afghanistan, on Russia, uh, on all the other countries, but they want to make their mark in the entire world, which would also include uh, you know China, also include the United States as well. So that's a concern. But I want to show you this because again, there are many people, many officials that are highly concerned, very concerned about the growing threats against the United States. But I want to show you this. This is from the uh, National Security Council spokesperson, John Kirby. He says there's no, uh, we don't see an immediate or an imminent credible threat by ISIS to the homeland. Okay, I, and the reason why I want to talk about this is because of this last word right here, homeland. Okay, we don't see an imminent credible threat by ISIS to the homeland. That is the United States here, okay? Right now within our borders. So he says he doesn't see a th threat, an imminent credible threat by ISIS to our homeland. What about to other, in other countries? What about in our, uh, to our embassies? What about to tourists that are traveling in Europe or Asia or Mexico, right? ISIS, probably not in Mexico. But we know for sure they're in Europe, they're in Asia. And that's the question, is what about when they, when they attack and, and it doesn't have to be immediately, it could be in the next six months, it could be in the next few years, but what about when they attack one of the US embassies? What happens then, right? That's the concern. And again, the reason I bring this up is because it's hard to differentiate between what is true, uh, what is, uh, people are just fear mongering, uh, people are actually spreading facts versus those that are just spreading rumors. We don't know. We have no clue what ISIS is doing. I can tell you right now with hundred percent certainty, I have absolutely no idea what ISIS is doing. I'm just trying to provide you with the facts, the statements that other people are giving us white house officials that are, have access to all this information. Pentagon officials that have access to even more information than what many people in the White House have. I'm trying to give you the statements from uh, senators, lawmakers that are wondering and sitting in these meetings and uh, these closed meetings with the FBI director, people from Homeland Security. And they're telling us that we should be concerned because yes, there are very, uh, there's a, it's a high probability that we will eventually be on the, the other end of an attack. It's not just gonna be against Moscow. It's not just gonna be against some random country that you maybe never heard of. It's gonna be against somebody that's big. Again, Russia, China, Iran, the United States. This is what we're about to face. So I just wanted to fill you in on what's going on at this time because again, what many people are telling us in the FBI and Homeland Security as well is if you see something, say something, because we know that there are terrorist organizations already in the United States, and hopefully they are not planning an attack. But that's what we know at this time. As always, as I know more, I promise, I'll come back on and share all the latest news and updates, but that is what we know as of today. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.